Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. Uh, today, I'm going to try to fabricate or frame up the door to go in to the Bugatti hauler. Um, there's been a few people that have sent in some uh, photographs or pictures of step to get in the truck, the steps, the fold up steps, and they were really, really nice. And I think we'll probably end up going that way. There's even after that was sent in, Jolene looked up a few steps and she even found some that she really enjoyed. But uh, we'll, we'll get on to that after. Um, we've got one of the toolboxes stepped in, framed in. I had them all welded up from before. Uh, I have the other one outside drying. Got the rock guard put on the outside. Got a rock guard on the inside, seam sealed. Got that done. I just have to plunk that one in. I think I've already showed you before. Uh, door number two, but these are the doors already done. They're welded all the way around. As you look at this truck, you can see how much welding has got to be done on this. All around that, all around that, all around there, all the way around here, all the way around the toolbox, all the way around the toolbox, all on the back, all along the fin, on the front door. It's just quite a bit of welding. And then I asked Jolene last night, I said, uh, you're going to maybe do some welding on the truck? She said, all you have to do is ask. <laughs> so there's my, there's my ask. All right, let's, get, let's make a door for this bad boy. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. There's one of the toolboxes sitting there outside. Just got it rockered, trying to get, trying to get what? I'm trying to get it dry so I can put it in, but I'm going to fabricate a door on this one. Let's do it. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting this square stock through the roller, and I'm going to try to get... The shape of the top of the roof and then I will have to probably make it out of a couple pieces I'm just gonna look at it do one more little turn see what happens and then we'll take it out and try it see what happens all I'm looking for is I'm looking for You know what? I'm going to I'm going to use that. I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to bend it. I'm going to hit it on the floor instead of trying to roll it. If I roll it too far, then it's sometimes it's just hard to get back um, where I want it. So let's get a marker going. Got a marker in my pocket. We'll mark it here. I want to see if I'm in the middle or not. I'd like to get two pieces out of that if I can. Uh, didn't have a tape measure ready yet. Wasn't ready, was it? Was it? Wasn't ready. Get a tape measure rocking and rolling here. Maybe we'll just cut it in the middle, and that way there I'll have two pieces out of the one, just to be sure. Ninety-three. Center of ninety-three, sweetheart. Probably should have just marked it when it was. What's that? 46 and a half. 46 and a half? Yeah. How you doing, Nate? Good. I'm going to guess. Once I cut it off. Looks, looks good? Okay, let's cut it. She said it looks good, cut it. That's all I got to say. Looks good, you're gonna cut it. Oh, I love my baby. Get a pair of gloves on. And the reason I'm not going to roll it through the roller again is because, like I said, I might go too far, which I think I can just bang it on the ground like I generally do, and then I'll get my shape I need. So I've got, I've got a little bit. Let's bang it on the ground. Watch this here. bit more.
That's damn near got it right on the money. Just another little wacky poo poo. Maybe two little wacky poos. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. What you have to understand is, or you don't have to understand, I have to have this square stock just below the sheet metal because I have to add sheet metal to this. So I really want to make it, you know, I'm going to make it the best I can. Should have had this on the other side. I see a little flat spot here in the end and I'm going to fix it. Everybody should have a stump, stump to pound the metal on. Everybody should. If not, it's just for fun. Gorgeous. Okay, I got a little spot right, right there. Put my finger there, I'm gonna go back. Sorry, sweetheart, run a bit fast, I know. But I'm gonna try to frame it up within the time, generally. Doesn't take much to move metal sometimes, so you gotta be careful, I guess. Especially when you're trying to frame up a door, we want to look the best it can. It's not bad. We can straight play with it after. Watch yourself. <laughs> that, would you? Bang! Right on the money. Who's your daddy? Love it. Uh, uh, let's get a step ladder. Now, if you think that's funny or that's primitive that I that I bang that on the ground you just think about the time I saved taking that out and rolling it turn it in there rolling it bringing it back in trying it take it out there roll it bring it back in whacked it twice on the ground bang had the shape I needed and it didn't cost me a damn cent I've got these pieces of angle iron that I used when I framed up the door for the toolboxes I'm going to do the exact same thing for this I'm going to tack them on and then that's going to be my space. It's a 3 16th. Um, if you're ever building anything or making anything, um, you, you will want at least that much gap um, for when it comes time to fill it out. There's going to be filler probably on the, on the edge of that where fill in any little pivots or divots or whatever uh, to make that as straight as possible. Um, You'll need that for a little bit of filler, primer, um, anything like that. When you're going, when you're making a doorway or a door opening, uh, you should have a fairly good gap to start with. And uh, I'm thinking that a 3 16 is pretty good. No, it's fantastic. Jolene looks fantastic. Now, yeah. just gonna tack these in there. Go ahead and cut them off. Lightly. That's basically all I want, something lightly. And I keep these hanging around, or I keep these around, I'm sorry I took your, took your view, but I keep these hanging around because I just clean them up, take the weld off them, and then, then I'm good to go for the next time. So I've already had these made, I got four more sitting over there. I didn't do anything to them, I just kind of kept them. And then I clean them up every time I go to use them. I'm gonna put one up in each corner, that way there, we can have our gap all the way around. Pretty simple process, but um, instead of trying to hold it and all that sort of stuff, I find this is the easiest way to do it. Thanks for coming back, everybody. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. We are, uh, we are getting a little bit more work done on Jolene's Bugatti, uh, the engine part. Um, I guess basically we're going for the, the charging system. We're gonna make sure it charges. And then uh, you never know, you might see it over here. Now, 
I've got, I'm going to put a square piece across first. I'll leave those two pieces there for a minute. Pick the tape up. I need a couple straight pieces. I might as well plant them in there. I don't want the sticker in is what I don't want. Instead of measuring, sometimes I like just to put it in the hole and mark it. Just seems to be a, an easy thing to do. You know? Put on my gloves. I'd be hoping that that would be same at the top and as at the bottom. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one and try it at the top. If it is, then I'll use it. Fits there perfect. Got a gap on each side. Perfect. Fits the top. Perfect. Let's cut another one. Beautiful. That makes me feel good about things, you know. When you when you cut, you know, two pieces of metal, or you got two different places, and you're and you're trying to make something square. That's good when this fits the bottom and the top. That's awesome. some edges. Got a little flapper wheel here with a sander, 36 grit wheel on it. Just knock off the edges a little bit. And actually, you know, Nathan was talking about the school buses, how they have the exact same thing. He said they have a foot peg that has two bolts in it. It comes out like a, a round piece and it's got like little grippy teeth on it sort of thing. I think they would be perfect for what we're doing. Perfect. I got myself a 10. How about you? Yeah, I'm just going to try to, what I'm just going to try to do is I'm going to try to nail this stuff on. This. Now, if I nail it on like this, I can't nail it on like this because I got this edge sticking out past here. I'm going to have to tilt this a little bit to make it go with the rest of it. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. This is on the round part, so I can't lay it down flat like this and see that, how that corner sticks out if I do that. I can't do that. You know, this is, this is where it meets here nice, it sure does, but that corner's messed up, so I'm going to end up tilting that. I am. And nailing it on that way. Uh, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get a piece, a little piece of square stock. I'm just going to eye it up and do it. I want in on my, I got to put a sheet of metal on top of this, so I got to have it in where it's got to be. Got to allow for the metal. 18 gauge is what I use generally for everything, generally. Probably wasn't the right place to tack it right there in that corner like that. And I'll tell you why. Because when I lay this piece comes down on top of that, it's going to hit that tack and hold me up a little bit. That's what it's going to do. So I'm going to tack it. I guess that's fine. I'll just knock a little bit off the other one. 
um, piece that comes down, I'll have to just knock it off so it fits nice. This one's going up, up top. And I'm gonna have to bring it up so it's below my sheet metal. I didn't clean that end up on that one. It's too bad. Too high there. Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, look too high. Is there any chance you pass me that grinder so that zip cuts me here? I know. She's my lady. Broke that. Now. Yeah. That's better. We'll go with it. I can always pick it up some when I hinge it. Got to have two pieces running down. Now, I have, to, I have to make sure that that's in there tight. There, see, I messed up already. That's going to be brought back some. I'm not tight back there, and I'm hoping that it runs tight. Get up there and plug it on. I was thinking something when I put that in there. If that was held good enough. Thank you, sweetheart. This one off this side, and this one tight. If you haven't got it right, cut it off, fix it, and then go for it. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. It. I'm gonna cut it off again. I think, I, th I think I'm up there a little too far. Third time's the chair. Going for it, it's good for me. Sounds good. We've got this piece right here. Now I still have a little bit of that angle iron that I put in the corner right there on that angle. So I'm gonna run this as far as I can. I think maybe. 
See which way fits the best. Now I have to open that one up a little bit before it looks things. You can see how it's coming down there a little bit. Don't want that. Let's check it on this one, see how this one goes. It's gonna be opened up a little bit. Maybe I went too far. I went too far. Why does it look so good like that? And then when I get... When I get up there, it doesn't look that good. Looking at a different angle, aren't I? that right there I'm gonna cut this off for some reason it didn't look that good up there but looks good down here What's that? Got the mark? I got a mark. No mark back there. You haven't got to drill a hole, have you? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I threw a bunch of drill bits in the garbage yesterday. I was mad and flustered and couldn't be trusted, and I just I just threw them in the garbage. That was the end of it. That doesn't look that good from that one. What I want to do is... Seems like it's gonna have. That's good, isn't it? Cut the other one exactly the same. So I have the same going on. I do have two the same, don't I? Perfect. Same that way. But it's the same that way. So I guess it matters which way I put um, the square tubing up there. Because one way is different than the other. So, but I want these exactly the same length and the exact same spot. That's what I want. And they look good that way right there. You can see them pieces of square stock are exactly the same that way. If I take the square stock and turn it, um, bah, bah, bah. now they are not. You see the different shape in them. Put it that way, and they're both exactly the same. So when I put them up there on that uh, roof rafter, it matters which way they go because one way is different than the other. All right. I need 
this is what's going on here. I've got a piece of angle iron down here, a piece of angle iron there, one up in that corner, give me my gap. When I bring those down, I haven't got nothing for here, so I'm gonna to have to cut something. Hopefully, I need a piece of... Just need a small piece of the angle iron, and then I can cut a piece off it and hang it on the side. My mic's dangling here like it's, like what? I guess it doesn't matter what I cut it out of, does it? Not at all. Piece of angle over here gives me the same gap. Cut a piece out. So they're nice and they give me a true read. If I leave that metal all on the edge there, it will just make me have a not, tr not have a true read. Also, when I didn't have my square stock all the way back in on that. When I didn't have my square stock or my angle iron or my square stock on my angle iron at the top, if I didn't have that all the way pushed back, I'd have a bigger gap in the corner. So I really have to pay attention to if everything is fitting tight. That matters. Two pieces of these. We're going to throw these in on the side and I want to know these are the way they go. These are the way it fits together like that. Now I have to find out which way they go, which way they fit the best. That's the way it fits best, right there, boom. So I know that I can put my piece of 316s right there don't matter just gonna tack it on gives it there this is my gap and then I'll finish it off down to there gives me a nice gap all the way along there beautiful you are Joel absolutely gorgeous Do that one right there. Have to make sure I keep that weld down in there. I don't want it on the face because what that does, if it's on the face, it just gives me something that's not a true read. That one just gaps away a little bit. But. Ready. Let's, let's tack these on and take this up with me. Sorry, sweetheart, I need the welder. The welder. Yeah, awesome. I'm so happy that you're good. She's good, boy, she's good. And I'm just gonna plunk that on there with that one. tack you can move it 
two it's in place seem like it's a bit high A tiny bit, doesn't it? All right, I'm gonna break that off. Really took it back a ways, didn't it? And here I go again. A little bit more. The only reason I'm getting up here is because I feel like it's gonna work. <laughs> if it's not, I'm back down again. All right. I'm gonna... Pushed in with the This one, exact same as that one. Try it the other way.
What do you think? Should we hear it? Like it? Just a little bit. And basically, if I do not get the shape right on the money, or whatever, uh, the door is gonna be higher in places than the, than, the than the opening, and that probably won't make me happy. Right there where my thumb is. See, that could be turned down there a little bit too. See that? cut that off turn down it's a little bit the end Woo! that did it baby 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 it's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia I've been asking Jolene where should we go for our first car car ride and we're not sure yet There in the center, you know, a little bag right here. <coughs> Bless you. I like that. Stuck up there a little bit, you can see that. Put that right on top of that. One good tack. Seems to be up there in the center a little bit. That might be. That wasn't so graceful, but it's good. There, Mr. Napa. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Um, this one here, this one here is fitting nicer there than that one's fitting right there. I don't really want to snip it off, but I feel like I have to to make it come down and do the right thing. Um, this one here has got a nicer fit right there. This one, you can watch this. See how it hits it? Can't lay a piece of metal on top of that. And uh, can't do that. Because the metal, once I join the metal to it, then it's higher than this. And it's really hard to deal with. This one here, watch. See that? Now I got a sheet of metal underneath there and it fits. That'll fit absolutely perfect. Not gonna work. She said, do you want a metal or a chest to pin it on? And I said, whatever you need, sweetheart, whatever you need. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one off and um, I'm going to hit it on the block of wood and just bend that in a little bit and then we'll put it on and then we'll have two the same. Then we got to make two of these little pieces right here and that'll be what we need. So I'm going to 
cut that off because I'm not happy with it. Nice little tack, come off easy. And this is the tack on the, this one I broke off, this is one I cut off. We just need that turned down some. Shouldn't be that hard. Get that turned down. We got a, like a flat spot going on there. Laid in my little hard on that end, in there, just. Feel like that's such an easy thing to do. What's this here? I gotta fix your mic. Julie wants to fix my mic. Can you just hold that for a sec? <laughs> She's a hard case sometimes, boy. She's a hard case. Huh? in the wall. <laughs> Take that up and do it again. I'm hoping that um, what I did is the right thing. Well, I know it's the right thing. I just hope that it fits. Closing my eyes and hitting it. Oh, I think we got it in the middle. Yeah, we'll just get it and take a look. Now we got, look at that, see? You see that, you see up in there? Now I can run a sheet of metal on that and we're not too far above. It was worth it. All right, now we need to make, if I have any discrepancies in, I'll have to put a centerpiece in it, have any discrepancies on the side. Uh, that's where a shim could come in if it's, it looks pretty good though, to be honest with you. I mean, it's pretty easy to move too, so. But I want it easy to move, so. Now, this piece right here, I have, Two end pieces over here that Doug rolled me the other day when he was in to help. What I'm thinking is, this is the other piece of the bumper. The other piece of that. We rolled some square stock here. It's not right on the money. It has, it has to be played with to make it work. But what I'm thinking is, I've got all this rolled, I might as well take it and use it on that. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some of that, because it's already rolled. There's no sense me beating and pounding when I do not have to. Take this. There'll still be some beating and pounding, but at least it's got some curve to it already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, I don't need all of it. Better leave a little bit, just to make sure. I'm gonna take a look and see what I got there. Before. Can't see it. Just a little over a foot. Just unplug my cord. Awesome. I love it when that happens. It makes me happy. Not. Same mount. So the same as that piece. Just trying to see which one this fits fast. I, I wouldn't want to take what fits it fast. It's gonna be bent more on the floor, but we'll go with it. I 
don't like the stickers, but it is what it is. I usually just grind them off. to make that angle. Let's go beat and pound on it. You know, take both of them. Now, I haven't got enough. Need more bend. So I'm just going to put that piece of pipe on the other side there. Hold me up a little bit. Let's go and take a look. going on there. this. What am I going to do? I'm going to mark that. Fitting good down there. I'm going to do this. Just try to make it a little bit easier instead of beating a pound for a little bit. Bend it like this. really hard to get that final bend right there. down to the nitty gritty where it counts. We're getting closer. I'm gonna cut it back one more.
this off a little bit. Alrighty. We're close. We're still quite a ways away. Got too much of a bend going on there. Could be flatter. This could be a little more rounder there. No problem straighten that out. Tap, tap, tap. Now we see we got a little bit take off. That right there's gotta be towed in. Right down there, you can see how we got a nice bend going on here. It's got to come down a little bit, but this is going to be towed in here a little bit, right at the very end. And we'll probably cut that and get that in and take an angle this a little bit. Make a couple cuts in it. Shrink it a little bit. You see the lines coming together? Just kind of shrink it a little bit. I gotta get this. That's kind of square. I don't really want to bend the whole thing. I'm gonna take it over here and hit it with a hammer. See if I can get a little more roundness in it. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got her coming now. This up a little bit. Getting happy with that. Now, see that little piece of weld? Hold me up. Oh, now I gotta turn it. <laughs> Channel locks. Could cut it off, but I don't want to cut it off, I don't think. Cut it. It's not the right spot. All right. See something 
don't like. I don't like that. Good. Let's attack this. Now let it be a matter of welding that back up and making that look good. But that's what I do. Just tacking everything together. Shave down a little bit with the flapper wheel. Metal on that. Good. We'll go with that one. Got a good gap going. Everything looks good and straight. We need one more. And then we'll have the outside framework pretty well licked. I will take, and we'll just make this one. What I'm looking for, or have to look for, is I have to make sure. See, we're pretty close there. Right there, we're pretty close. And that could be probably beat down. I'd probably zip that open, beat that open again, but there's good. Right there is where she gets up too high. All right, we'll go to the other side. We can deal with that later. Probably could scoop that out more. If I took the flapper wheel and took some more of that wood out, I'd get more roundness. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Try to get a little more if we can. Find where I can get it more. I'll just zip it like the other side. Zip it like the other side. Gonna have to have a drip rail molding in there some some sort. I have a little bit of metal left over showing underneath because this is inch, this is three-quarter inch. 
Um, if, if this is put in right, there should be, look, see, see a little bit of square stock underneath that. Um, that's going to leave me a little bit of room for, not sure yet, what I'm going to do that with, how far I'm going to take it. I have no idea. But we'll see. It's a cut right there. Just use it. Sand some of that off. I think I'd rather sand it. With an angle bottom. We need If whether you know it or not, I'm trying to make this fit without changing anything. <laughs> you said cuts, that's what's going on. Uh, I don't want to go change it. Getting close, getting close, getting close. Getting close. Sand a little bit more off. Beautiful. Not as beautiful as Jolene, but beautiful. Now, I need, that's fitting nice up there. That's fitting really good. I need some bend right here. Back to the block. It's hot. Just a little bit. Got a little ledge going on there. Can I get a little bit of bend there? I can. Or break the ledge off. Bend that edge a little bit. Anyway. Let's do it. Got two. Can't get it off now. I'm gonna have to do it, but I gotta put another zip cut on it. That's what I'm gonna have to do, the exact same thing uh, for the door, for the engine. Uh, but the only thing is I'm gonna have to build 
um, three rafters instead of just two rafters. And what I mean by the rafters is a piece going up, and the reason being is, is the distance apart. I want one in the center, one on each, uh, each side, and then the end. Bunch of cuts up on this, three cuts on the bottom of that one, make them exactly the same. Just need that little bit. That's the bad boy right there. That one fits really nice. Woo! I love it. I got to take a little sand off this one. on again, get there. Reason being is I want to bend this. that off. That's what I want to do. I want to nail that on there like that. For anything, so I'm gonna hold that and pound it. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. again. The reason being is I didn't think I had it over far enough. That looks better to me. Run this on top. It's good. It's good. It's good. Just close this off. Alrighty, that's the door framed up. I'm not sure how long that is. How long is that? 111. So in an hour and 11 minutes, I was able to talk and uh, frame up the door. This will have to be welded, like we'll weld that up as we get going here. Um, 
It's looking good. I'm just gonna have to take my piece of... That's what I wanna be able to do. That's up there a little bit high. A little bit. A little bit. Take a, probably take some flapper wheel a little bit off, right on the money there. Hmm. But that's, that's the door framed up. We'll get that tightened right. We'll put a, probably a rib going across here just to make sure, or maybe one up here and maybe one down here just to make sure everything stays tight and right. Uh, we're gonna hinge it at the top, no doubt in my mind. Uh, maybe one, probably two actuators, one on each side so that it's gonna flop way up. We'll end up probably using them bus steps maybe. Uh, if you wanna come with me for a second. What's that? Just to see what Nate's doing for a minute. Nate's working on Joey's Bugatti and coming over for a minute there, Nathan. Right on, how you making it? Uh, cool. Um, right on. There was a couple questions asked if we still had the cars of the YouTube station that we've been doing. Um, there's the Hotmobile sitting and waiting uh, for glass. What's that? Hudson? Sorry. Uh, there's the, she corrected me, Hotmobile. Uh, there's the gas truck, I guess you call it. There's the four door uh, Dodge car that we turned into a truck. And there's the hauler and the race car. We've got some stuff moved around, got the, some motorcycles moved around so we can get stuff out. And I'm counting on Nathan to um, get our race car rocking and rolling, making that thing work top notch. Nathan's actually doing the charging system on this right now. And uh, he's used a, yeah, cool. That looks nice. That looks nice. I like the way he does stuff. He got a nice end coming in here. We got a nice big wire running out there. It all goes in there underneath the old pan, all the clips. Well done. Looks good. Looks nice. And that stuff takes time. There's, not, there's nothing you can do other than take your time and do it and try to do it the best you can. We still want to change the wires after a while. We'll see what goes on. But uh, we're going to end up trying to get it maybe running here after a little bit and see how it tillivates. Yeah, just want to let you in on that little bit of snippet, I guess, because someone was asking about the Hotmobile. We still have it. Um, just kind of, you know, whenever Nathan gets time and is able to help me, that's when things will go forward on that sort of stuff. Thanks, everybody, for coming back. We appreciate it. Like, share, comment. Come back tomorrow, and we'll be here.